first set for the demand to restore natural streams in West Maui was heard loud and clear as hundreds of people showed up to the State Water Commission meeting in Wailuku today. They're calling for more water to support traditional farming, rest return historic forests, and even fight climate change. Our Daryl Huff was there and joins us live with the details. Daryl. Ash, the advocates here who have been pushing for restoring the streams for decades now feel they have a little bit more leverage because those Maui fires were fueled by the dry conditions. And not only do they have leverage due to the fires today, they had the powerful voices of children from a number of Maui immersion schools. <laughs> Please use your voice you've been given on this board to speak for people like me, the lineal descendants of Lahaina, and remember, Ola Ika Vai. Water is life, and Lahaina and West Maui need it more than ever now. Mahalo. For the past 130 years, nothing has been put into action. How many times do we have to speak for you guys to hear us? Mahalo. Can you hear us all? Can you listen to us, Kanaka? We need those water for our lohi to feed our ohana, to feed the trees that shade over our keiki, to feed our future. There's no future without water. There's no Hawaii without Kanaka. It was very powerful testimony, of course. And the crowd also appreciated one thing, the reinstatement of the commission's deputy, Kaleo Manuel, who many consider the first executive to follow the laws that prioritize traditional uses of surface water. He was reassigned for two months after an inaccurate complaint that he delayed water needed for firefighting. Today, he told the commissioners that a number of Lahaina wells were damaged by the fire are now vulnerable to contamination. And once again today, representatives of the landowners, the developers, the owners, of the water systems were not present to tell us their side of the story. I have talked to their consultants, though, who tell me that they pretty much have seen the writing on the wall. They do expect eventually to lose their stream water, so they're looking for other sources, things like reuse of wastewater and just plain more efficient use of the water that they are given. Tonight at 5, we'll look more into the dangers posed by the fire-damaged wells in Lahaina. Reporting from Wailuku, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Daryl.